Do 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 do. Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Welcome back to All Ages of Geek. Yes, a place where we unite the geeks of all ages with the power of unity, positivity, community, and something I like to call interactivity. By interactivity, I think it's so important that you interact with not just your community, but everybody within it. You interact to the point where your community kind of in a way runs how your show should be. And why am I holding this book? Well, this book is, if you know, it's the player's handbook. Look at that boy right there. Look how happy he looks. Look at him. Okay, Chief, I see you. I mean, look at them right now. Okay, as you know, I have been role-playing for many, many years of my life. But I'm, a, I'm very new to the world of tabletop RPGs and Dungeons and Dragons and things in the sense like that. And when I'm trying to learn how to actually really play Dungeons and Dragons or do anything with it, I'm always trying to find like the next big show that I totally should look at to kind of like learn, not even just like role play techniques, but kind of like the math behind it, because as you know, I'm not good with math at all. Like one plus one is two, not 11, cat. Good job, good job, cat. But to give you guys like an introduction to this, I mean, look at this guy right here. Looks like a happy dude. I mean, all, every single time that you want to sit down and really play Dungeons and Dragons, there's so much that you can get into and so many different stories that you can tell. But something I always tend to see lacking within that those this type of community is something that is much more community-based to run. Well, I recently discovered one series and one campaign that puts its community first, and that is Dungeon Run from Caffeine. Now, Caffeine is basically a streaming service where you guys, you know, think of Twitch. But it kind of is more original than that because it's a mixture of like live streaming, gaming, and more creativity behind it where interactivity for the community is key when it comes to streaming. So if you look at Twitch, Twitch is great with interactivity, but there always seems to be something that's lacking when you, you're the audience, you know? Even if you're on Caffeine and you see like the chat box like popping up, it's totally different. It's more of an immersive type of experience. It's like things pop up and like you get to like actually vote up things, like the comments. You get to actually interact with characters and such. Like on Dungeon Run, when I was watching it, literally you get to actually have a moment where it's like you can like give characters an advantage or anything like that. So something I really prefer when it comes to not even just a streamer as myself, but as a creator and a content creator and also founder of All Age of Geek, we strongly believe in interactivity. So my goal is to be able to find other communities just like that, especially for things that I'm very passionate about. Now, here's the thing. Dungeon Run, okay? Let's read what it's about to introduce you guys to it. Because you know what? When I find things that is really interesting to me, I want to be able to experience it with all of you. So Dungeon Run. Let's look it up. Dungeon Run is a live round table RPG show in which five explorers will navigate the interactive Dungeons and Dragons game, featuring a minefield of audience-laid traps, celebrity guests encounters, and threatening monsters at every turn. So let's think about that. See that minefield right there? Minefield of audience-laid traps? That is true, because you as the audience get to decide the fate of these characters. 
And they're so great when it comes to their performance and being able to interact with the entirety of the audience because it's not just like, we're gonna do this, we're gonna tell the story and then be done with it. It's like, no, they take breaks in between, you know? You're about to see my reaction to this. And it's not like, um, we're gonna like just spend three hours just in a campaign. It's more like, no, we're gonna sit back, you know, we're gonna hear what the characters have to say, but then they're gonna be like, okay, we're out of character right now. Let's, let's read what the community has to say to us. And the community decides what happens next in Dungeon Run. Something else I personally really love is one of their characters. Um, he's more of like the announcer and everything. He comes on, he does the intro and everything. And then he interacts with you in the chat. So it's not just like a chat bot, it's actually somebody interacting with you. So it's not just like, oh, I'm a mod, great. No, it's not like that at all. It's somebody who's legitimately interacting with you. So I'm just about, before you see my reaction to this, I just suggest you guys, please check them out. They're great, wonderful people. And on the streaming service, Caffeine, it is fantastic. The interface is amazing, but please, please, Please check out what they're doing. All Ages Geek is going to be covering a lot of Dungeon Run. There's going to be at least four episodes on here on All Ages Geek on our YouTube channel. And it's due to the fact that I really love being able to connect with like other content creators and really think about just the more humanness to gaming and geek culture. And something that brings much more humanness to a Dungeons & Dragons campaign is that heart, that humbleness, and that humanness that so many campaigns tend to lack because they're so like invigorated within the game that they tend to like pause and to look at what their community is doing and what they're up to. You know, they actually do care because they allow the, the freaking community to say, hey, I'm gonna make sure that there's gonna be new monsters coming out or hey, I'm gonna give your character a freaking advantage. Like it is that great, it is that wholesome and it will it's like that one of those campaigns that really immerses you within the world and there's like funny moments um freaking scary moments and the actors really get into character that's what i really personally do prefer when it comes to campaigns not when somebody's just saying like oh my character moves over here it's like no they actually voice the characters they get into that character and the story sucks you into that world and deserves to really like shine. It's not, it's not at all a plot driven story. It's a character driven story because the actors are actually acting as their characters. So something again, when I really like when it comes to campaigns, I don't like when somebody really sends like, says like, oh, I move here. Oh, I do that. I mean, everyone plays Dungeons and Dragons their own way, but I've seen a lot of campaigns where they do that. And something I personally prefer is when it's much more character driven and you get into character. So guys, without any further ado, enjoy All Age of Geeks coverage of the Dungeon Run. Let's get started. Katie Michaels as Lily Dumblestock. Hey! Ronald Ogden, oh yes! Ronald Ogden is Ugo! I'm so excited! Hi! What's yeah. up? Hey. <laughs> Morgan Peter Brown as James Quiller. Hello! Oh, Lord Airman, goodness. did you put on Thanksgiving weight? Yes. Hey. You look good. You look better. You look, look good. You. You're even almost shaven. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, it comes back very fast. <laughs> You're a fast growing man. I love you. Uh, I love you. Hey. 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 Yes. The handguns. I love it. I'm a, I'm a fan of handguns. Jared K. Jack as Siv Red Thistle. Yes. So, Lord Airbon, I nice wanted flannel. to return these gold coins that I stole from you a right. while ago. I wanted right. to turn over a, a new leaf. Wait, 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 wait. I, you know, <laughs> Siv, I just realized something. What? Perhaps you what? should keep what? those. <laughs> I may have a proposition for you. Have you ever assassinated anyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, maybe. Yes. Well, keep your ears out, if you will, because I might have someone I need assassinated. Okay. Ooh. Yes, it's... It's like, yeah. ...start with it's, it's, M and ends great. with it's O, and middle fantastic. initials are I and L. Oh, okay. <laughs> just saying. I don't want to tell you who it is. Right. Just, sure. just give the hints. Give the hints. You, you, it's your book. to me. I okay. Know. Keep me posted. I will. <laughs> Although it probably would cost more than two gold. Coins. Grab, grab more gold, then. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, all right. And finally, last but not least, our dungeon master himself, Mr. Yes. Jeff. Come on up. Just want to update my Always favorite be nice to the DM. list. Uh, 
<laughs> Some new changes. Can you read it to me? Read it to you? Yes! Read it to Your me. Your favorite uh, it, players. It's Jared, and then, and then it, also uh, Jared. Yeah. What? And then is Jessica, that? Ron, Morgan, and then, you know, I'm holding out for someone. Why think, am I a. I think that's <laughs> He's like, please stop. Hey, His I face, like, please stop screaming at me. But I do love you, after all. Oh, you so much love and care. Let's continue, Greatness. shall we? Uh, yeah. Yay! The Jonesen. Katie, you have the opportunity to move up. I found this on the other opportunity. I'm going to keep this in full view <laughs> the whole <laughs> night. It's just so on the bottom. Oh, yeah, we're at the bottom. I'm seven out of five. <laughs> yeah. 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 That makes sense. I'm fourth? No way. I'm just saying, oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, we're back. We had a week Yay. off. I felt I, I missed all of you. Missed you. It's the holidays. Jared is here. Yeah. Babyface Morgan. <laughs> Babyface <laughs> Morgan. Number seven. Yeah. You know, we got everybody. Oh, no. Let's, uh, I want to welcome everybody. If you have, we have some oh. new viewers tonight. Yes. Uh, welcome to the live show. I'm so excited. Let's jump in. We got uh, we got a lot to get to tonight. So Ooh. let's catch everybody. Up, Hell shall yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Holy crap! It's it so organized. As a simple go. dungeon run, parchment tacked to a signpost in Kippleturn, promising easy treasure with minimal risk. I'm gonna Five learn everything about D and D from this. Unlikely allies when they emerged from Look that dungeon, art. carrying an item of enormous power. Ooh. The secret keeper's amulet. A reality beguiling relic from a time beyond memory that grants you, the watchers of the time stream, a way to alter the fates of the champions who wield it, for good or ill. Contact with this mysterious artifact has also thrown Siv, Fahima, James, Uggo, and Lily into oh no. an adventure far okay, good. grander than a mere treasure hunt. The five great wardens of Ayn have gone missing. And our team has set about finding them and freeing them. In the time following the catastrophic war of ideas, the realms were protected so much by these colossal sentinels. So much lore! Peace that has lasted for generations. But as the team has discovered, a powerful force has emerged, capturing the wardens and using them for diabolical purpose. He's like, First, I'm not okay right now. <laughs> storm warden, trapped high in a floating castle in the clouds, chained and used to power clockwork mechanisms with its electricity. Then, the Inferno Warden, restrained Ooh. by an enormous kraken at the bottom of the sea. Its endless heat used to propel harvested corpses Is it a, bee? a tunnel carved into the ocean I mean, it's floor. a kraken, but... Each time, the amulet if bearers it's cool. managed to overcome incredible odds and free the Wardens, Ooh. and were transported into a vivid vision of the past. Memories locked inside the warden's subconscious, offering clues to the lost history of Ayn. Ooh. Now the team is on the trail of their third warden, heading north along the old trade route connecting Winkburg to the Dwarven lands in the Nelrim Mountains. Their search has brought them to Winkburg, where a Winkburg. shadowy wizard named Calcutta Theed, the Ashen Mage, has take, had taken up residence. Investigating He's her spell such a tower, good like they found narrator too. That she and her assistant Vargan had been practicing strange experimental dark magic. They also found a telescope pointing to a volcano, sky scorched right peak. The right, that's important. Lies that's important in the lore. City of That's important. Lore. So they left Winkburg in the custom travel wagon gifted to them by the Duke. It was long before they were attacked on the road by a gang of angry marauders on the See, back of giant the attack groups. I have is I would never listen to a DM. I would just be like, the, gifts, <laughs> the, worst thing you could the team decimated the rampaging menace only to witness a new threat emerge from the tree line. Ooh. Wolves. <gasps> Wolves. Are there Unlike puppies? Any they had seen or heard of. Are before. there puppies? Massive, mutated beasts with bones protruding from their backs and hunger burning in their eyes able to leap 30 feet and land on the back of their draft animals. Bruh. And the team saw the wolf pack rend Can bone we and flesh and then witnessed them. one transform into a terrifying wolf-humanoid hybrid before their very eyes. They knew the odds were not in their favor. Lily brilliantly immobilized the pack with her glimmering hypnotic pattern, then snapped the Vardo into motion. Nice. Siv used the amulet's magic to reform trees and rocks into traversable terrain and the group escaped into the forest. 
That would be handy to have, like, night, reforming things. There at Shirei and themselves, an argument broke out about collateral damage in the midst of the battle. Mm -hmm. As their campfire crackled, tempers flared. That's not good when you argue with your team. Off into the Vardo. Before any resolution could His be found or watch established for the night, a growling voice joined their conversation. Ooh. There, standing in the flickering light of the fire, illuminated in a red-orange glow, was a figure of fur, <gasps> fangs, and claws. Oh my God! Unmistakable, standing before them. Bro! A werewolf. Oh its lips hell! Parted, and snarling world words echoed across the campsite. Please. Don't kill me, it said. Is it nice? And that's what we're picking up this yeah! week. Yeah! Oh, um, man, I'm so excited <laughs> to be back. Uh, and you see this creature, as you had it been in the midst of an argument, a discussion, this creature steps forward, and it is large, humanoid, covered in fur, large claws. Oh, hell. A Canine face. I mean, this is clearly a werewolf, very large. But, but it also don't hurt has me. these white bones protruding Ooh. from its neck and back. Long, thin, that end in a point. But they don't look normal or natural Bruh. coming out from behind it. And this creature who interrupted your conversation says, Please, don't kill me. <laughs> and she steps forward. Is you it see, nice? Tufts of brown fur. I'm down seeing the back. this like whoa. Uh, clothing, a chain around the neck. It, it, it kind of beautifully pulled back mane that goes all the way down her oh. back. And eyes, large, shimmering silver eyes that catch the firelight from the campfire. And as she steps forward, <laughs> she kind of. Uh, Falls for a second. I can see that, that there's the shoulder will go down. Like... Gash oh, crap. On the side of her leg as well. This seems to be a very recent, very large wound. She says, I mean you no harm. I'm here to ask for your help. What? What is your name? I am Zanalka. Zanalka? Zanalka? I like that name. I'm Lily. And you see her eyes dart around. Am I still in the cart? I believe I am. You were, yeah. yeah. Are we in immediate danger right now? Yes. Not for me. Hold on. I'm alone. Holy, I'm freaking immersed in this. No, I believe not. I followed you. Oh God, imagine if that was and following you. What about you. the rest of your pack? I left them. I saw the moment you used your magics to Keep them occupied. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh. I knew I had but a moment, but a, a minute to make the decision. And why? Trust did not want me to go. And why did you leave them? May I? May I have some of your food? Oh. I can come in. Uh, Jeff, well. Oh, please. <laughs> I know. I'm sure I'll go. tensing up. I'm going to get up and, uh, slink off into the shadows. I just want to make sure she's not lying to us. Right. So if I see Ooh. kind of the direction that she came in, I'm mm -hmm. going to slink off that way and kind of scatter so around a little down. bit so to pretty. make sure are she you, wasn't followed. Are you intending to stealth out? Ste yeah. Oh okay. my god. Cool. Gotta stealth it. Oh, you do have uh, advantage from Scully is yeah. my home girl. Then I'm invisible because I just got that card that... Oh, oh, nice. oh yeah, so yeah, perfect time. As if by magic, <sighs> fade out, out and you're completely transparent and you can walk out completely unseen from this mm. situation. You see her, she's kind of, her eyes are, are darting around. She thinks that she had counted four of you out here, and now there are three. Ooh. Um, but you managed to walk away unseen. Yeah. You want to do a perception check to see what you can see? Sure. Jeff, quick question. I'm going to do 100. What does that. it mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean when I gain knowledge of one stat? No, I got it. I got it right here. You have a D100. You want me to roll that? It's a D100. Sure. Oh my god, look how big that is! Right now. Guys, I remember you told me like how big they actually were, but. Oh my god. That's like a golf ball. For a, really it's a legitimately a golf ball. Check. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god. It's huge. 
39 or a seven? Yeah, I'm gonna roll that. Or a seven. I'm gonna just drop it. There we go. 76. 76. Yeah. Wow. So I see it all. It's like this freaking big. What the hell? Why is it so big? Everything is clear all of a sudden. Just for a moment, and you don't remember what you saw. Throw up after that. He sees the individual cells in your body. Ew. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I see. I see the matrix. Yeah. No, you. You see us at the table right now playing this game. It is extremely clear, right? It is extremely crystal clear. There's no movement, there's no rustling, there are no tracks. There, it, it, it does seem as if she seems to be alone, at least in the immediate vicinity, as far I as hope. you can see whatever your your. Because, you know, when you're a DM, is. you can yeah, do whatever the heck you want. Can I follow her tracks for a little ways just to, because she was bleeding, right? Yeah. Okay, then I wanna, I wanna essentially follow her tracks and anytime I see blood or or smell anything, I'm gonna try to cover that up as best as mm. possible. Okay, do a survival check. Uh, you have advantage from TK421. Thanks, TK. Right. Seriously. You know, <laughs> also, the candles are lit. Oh, oh hey, 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 hey. thanks, community. So Aww. Uh, <laughs> so survival is 14. It feels so well lit. Uh, okay, we this, need to okay. this real quick. Uh, every like D&D series that I've ever watched, so like a campaign, this um, is the most interactive one that they bring their community um, involved. Candles. Like, bruh. Uh, 14 survival check? <laughs> yeah, just to cover. Please up. watch yeah, them. Yeah, like, you, what you the are, hell? This is amazing. It's possible that you missed a few spots, but you are managing to follow the trail of, of oh, blood spatters. And it looks like it was mostly kept to the tree line. And you can sort of see how Perhaps uh, th this creature followed you through. You guys were mostly off the road until yeah. recently. Imagine it following how, you, though. You know, some of that blood splatter Ooh. was following you. So she you, actually followed us through. That's the creepy. Woods. Even though it was magically parted, she essentially tracked us. Yeah, as a single. Got it. That is creepy. Form had you know, tracked you through the woods like that. Yeah, okay, but I don't see any other tracks besides hers. No, you do not. Okay. That is freaking Lily nuts. Would know, but I'm not sure Katie does. Who's my sister? <laughs> oh, and Lily, you got this card. This is a real amazing. I, I don't think I could do this. Uh, <laughs> can you all of Lily's sisters on the spot? Oh, you man. gain plus one to your next roll. I love that you got this. <laughs> so you get the same bonus. Uh, okay. So can you name all of Lily's sisters on the spot? You gain plus one to your next roll per sister you correct the name. Wow. You can apply this same bonus to an additional roll if you correctly name them from oldest to youngest. Oh. oh. I can't do this. I should know this, but I can't. How many are there? I can't do this. <laughs> They're my sisters. The, the pressure. The pressure. I can't think of one. I can't think you can't think of one. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can think of one. Um, I want to know if the, the I can remember the three that we can say the, the three that we saved and I remember Prim, but I don't know the other three. But it's, it's you, I don't know right? who's old. It's Kelmop. Yeah. Kelmop. Um, Kelmop. Prim. To, it's a Prim. Save her and and, and deep breathe. See if your okay. DM can do it. Can you do it in order? That's hard. I think I can. Just Kelmop. feel confidence. I'll never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I wrote it down on an old character. It's hard to do it oldest to youngest. It's easier to do it youngest to It's really, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> peanut butter. I'm trying to peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> Long stick. I can't do it oldest to youngest. I'm going to just, just do this. Okay, I'm fine. Kill them up. Carrot. Prim. Um, Rose. Rosie, bud? yes. Rosie. Um, Tiff. I was Rosa, yeah. Yeah. And then there's two more. Oh, but how many sisters? I said Prim. You said Prim. Yeah, like yeah. Real oh, yeah, you did. That was oh. Prim, Kelmop, Carrot, Tiff, Rosebud, or Rosie. Rosa, yeah. Rosa. Rosie. It's Rosa. I said, I Rosa. corrected you incorrectly. Um, I corrected you incorrectly. Can we use, can we use this? <laughs> Wait, can we make that a meme? I corrected you incorrectly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, jelly's jelly, jelly is fine. Oh, <laughs> one more. I've been saying this for two minutes. One more. I'll give you the hint. Is, so you got to be like. Your hair color. <laughs> oh. Strawberry? Blonde. Goldie. 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 Yeah. I don't think I get that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, you got, I got six. Six. That's pretty darn good. Goldie. That's funny. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. If we had done this many episodes ago, I think I would have been able to do it. <laughs> I wrote a whole sister song that I haven't oh. done. Oh. Uh, we got to hear the 
the sister song. Cream, some jelly, yeah. Kelmop, and Tiff. That was the only ones I knew. Yeah. yeah. That's a great. What are they part. eating? Is it like nuts and everything? <laughs> I want some. I don't know. That's all right. Tell you us got that's a great name. That's, that's really funny. <laughs> two shakes. Okay, so you have uh, you have checked the area. You have you slinked off. Um, what just happened is Zanalka, who she just identified her as herself as, has asked for some food. Thanks. May I have? Just give her like give her something you're not eating. <laughs> Oh. Yes, yes. Good. He's weak. You have to understand, we're a bit apprehensive as we saw the rest of your pack. Mm. I want to blame them. I want to blame them. The pack has blood loss, and I do not agree. I just why I ran. I want to confirm that you mean us no harm. Uh, when she says blood loss, I'll go visibly relaxes. I <laughs> 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 visibly relaxes. <laughs> Bring myself here. Outnumbered. I mean you no harm. I know you could. I have witnessed your know, magics and abilities. You took the that is true. And reduced them to mere witnesses. In the moment, I I need your help. All right. I'm just gonna say it. Can I hear this? You definitely can hear a new okay. voice. All right, I'm coming out of the car. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it. Hamlet. Oh. What? Hamlet. Hamlet. What? I'm so Sorry. glad I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> what? That be me right now. No, I'm so confused. I think we can talk about this that's, later. That's a, a discussion for another um, time. I'll oh. go up to her. May I touch you? Oh, that's so she powerful! Clawed, hairy arm. Where's her, her injury? It's on her leg and thigh. So I'll put my hands close to it and I'll do cure wounds. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. At a level two. Please don't so like come and kill them after that. Nice. As subtly as I can, I'm going to cast detect thoughts. Mm. Okay. Are you standing right next to me? Yeah. She doesn't do a save on that yet, right? <laughs> Her face is like... If I go deeper. Right. Yeah. How long have you been trying to leave your pack? And you're trying to listen for... I'm asking your questions, yeah. but yeah, but I'm also, yeah, basically using it as a lie detector. Uh, mm -hmm. We've uh, been running with Pat for a long time, but recently, uh, in a situation I do not agree with. Ooh. I healed her 12 hit points. Uh, thank, thank you. I knew your magics were strong. Come sit down. You were saying... Please don't like attack them now that you're healed. Please. <laughs> I got freaking nervous. Want to trust? It's not easy for me. That's fine. We're in a similar position. <clears throat> yeah. Things are different lately. I want to show you what I have been. And she stands back up with. Pain. She closes her eyes and concentrates. Oh, oh God. See the fur start to recede. <gasps> her wolven ears retract, her snout retracts. Oh, it's coming human? Her face. Because of a werewolf. Her claws pull back into her body. And it's with much effort and anguish, she is slowly transforming Ooh. into a humanoid form in that mane. That long brown mane stays. That is She's cool. She's got a long mess of hair pulled back. It's almost as if the sides are kind of shaved, Ooh. tightly cropped on the sides of her face. And those silver shimmering eyes remain as well. They're, they're big and round. And she's young. She's like 20. Um, oh. Quite beautiful. Uh, That's but... my question. Fully <laughs> <laughs> <Quite. laughs> human. Fully human. How does she look? Uh, How does she look? She's in this form for a second. Again, like the gash, which you've healed quite extensively, you still see, you know, the remnants of some some blood there. And she's uh, a human for a second. She looks at you with these bright silver eyes. I feel and bad. Then, and then it, the muzzle comes back out. The oh. fur comes back out. The claws come back out. She's, yeah, I used to. Able to control that longer. Oh, yeah. changed. Changing. I feel bad. Tell us right now why you're seeking us out tonight. 
Pahima's burning pretty hot right now. Let's get a warm over here. Want to trust? Why do you need friends? Why do you need to go outside your pack? Hmm. My brother. What about him? He runs. What? With trust in the, the pack. I have to. We ran in for protection. A group. Well, where's the Where's the brother? They strength in numbers. We have been on the run for quite a while. Oh. But lately, trust taken in by a new. Morgan. He is. Changing us somehow. Oh. He uh, puts the bloodlust, uh, the needs, the hunger I'm in scared. all of us, and me, and my brother more. I don't think he can control. I try to. And she's trying to, to help them. Try to mm, plead, but uh, power, trust uh, in his ear. Bargain in trusses. It is not good. It is dangerous oh, no. and scary. And don't turn. I, don't turn. I know it is beyond my power to do it alone. And when I saw you control them, use powerful magic on them, I uh, I made a decision. I hope I am not wrong. I feel bad. Uh, Jeff, mm. Argo steps very close forward. He opens his arms and he says, I understand where you come from. I will help you. Oh. Hug. Oh. Remember. Remember humanity. Oh. And she slowly. <laughs> yes. Unsuredly. Say. Uh, when I embrace her, mm -hmm. I'm calling to ancestors. Specifically the human. Yeah. Uh, help her remember. Mm. Uh, help me relate. Let her know. I understand bloodlust. I understand rage. Roll a religion check. Yep. You have advantage from GP. <laughs> What's you want? Get to me. So the snapshot of, of what, what Oh, that's Certainly powerful. Everything that you, she's said to you at this point, you recognize as being, as coming from a true place is it the thought and the words there's no mask between them yeah you didn't perceive uh a lie or a, a, a switch between the thought and the wow. words via awakened mind i will look at all of you and sort of relay that as well that hmm. this all was tracking yeah um 17 religion so you em embrace and you feel her trembling slightly mm -hmm. it's clear that she's kind of weak and uh, uncomfortable mm -hmm. and you well you blame her this, it's almost a prayer mm -hmm. and you feel in you a sense of presence mm -hmm. when you enrage and your spirits come they are manifest and you feel them help you fight mm -hmm. this is not like that this is not so Manifest. It is not so. I'm literally um, merciless right it's now. It's a feeling inside <laughs> you. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's a feeling of presence, and you and you you feel her kind of swell a little bit with that show of support. Uh, but she still. Sure, of course, uh, absolutely, yeah. I, it's yeah. more of a. Uh, Ugo is trying yeah. to bridge. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think you. As Ugo, feel a connection to your human ancestor in that moment, and you try to share that. Share that. Yes. Yeah. That's um, so powerful. And Ugo says, "You are sick. I'm, uh, I'm changed somehow. I don't know what he does to us. We've heard of this bargain before. Uh, Fima, do, do you? Were you the one who took his journal from the tower? Hmm. Do you remember? He, I'm not sure yeah. if you if you did or, or who has it, but oh, I, I have mean, those pages. There was mention of a of a craving. We have it. How long has this been going on? Oh. My memory is foggy, but 
but it has been weeks. We. Does he visit you? Oh. Visit. He leads us. He takes us. Changes us. So was he there? So he's with you. He was there on the battlefield today. No. Okay. Sends us out. Gives us commands. But you could take us to him. Oh. He is in the Alabaster Woods. Alab I like that there. name, Alabaster. Commands us from there. We come back and bring him blood, blood. We give him blood. Is there anything we can do to calm this down a bit? I'm sorry. I have not spoken, spoken to anyone outside the pack in oh, God. quite a while. Is there anything at all that helps? Food. Rest. I, I've been giving. I gave her plenty. Dives her muzzle into this, and it's just like, you know, it's flinging down, everywhere, shoveling it into her mouth. Her fang is long and and white. How I eat? <laughs> this bowl of, of oh. uh, you guys made stew last. Yeah. Time. <laughs> <laughs> her, her face. <laughs> oh my god. In my back at this point. Yeah. Uh, can I check on the? Chirai to see how they're reacting to this creature being in that camp. Well, they were asleep when this. So they're still asleep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'll come to the edge of the firelight and I'll just speak to the group from there, hmm. but not like show myself to her yet. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, because he's still. What she's saying tracks. Uh, there's only one set of tracks. Hers and quite a bit of blood. Mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> speaking of tracking, Zanella? Zan Zanelka. Zanelka. Is there a way Zanella? <laughs> you can be tracked? Should we be worried? Perhaps. I wasn't sure I would be able to track you. I almost lost you several times. Only managed to find you by following the scent of orc piss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> oh. So we have a bit of a Oh my god. You can watch the Dungeon Run live Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific time at caffeine.tv slash the dungeon run.